Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet 2. My name is Nisse and today we got a Norwhaler mod to look at. And uh, I think it's the male we have here, yes it is. Uh, and it's the bonnie and bearded pig. And uh, that's just so weirdly cute. This is a female. Um, and they do, as you can see, swim, and they do swim very well. Uh, so let's just jump right into Supedia here. We have it is uh, one one. Uh, <laughs> it is vulnerable, and uh, the population is the wild is unknown, uh, though it is declining. Um, but um, but them um, it. Uh, lives in Asia, more specifically in Malaysia and Indonesia. We have the map down here in tropical aquatic biomes. I think it might be kind of sub aquatic, uh, so they still need land, especially because down here they don't actually need any water, but I assume this means that they live around water. Um, they, one of them need 290 square meters of land and a second one need uh, 15 extra and a baby needs 8 extra. They live um, in temperatures from 16 to 42 degrees celsius and they will need a great two fence 1 meter and 25 centimeters. So that's... Not that tall, but it's still, I think, still taller than the pig. Going in here, you can have a group of 30. One, only one male, but then 29 females. Uh, a group of males can only be up to 6, but a group of females can be up to 30. Female groups lit by an old ma matriarch, an older female. Um, males fight for the right to mate. They are promiscuous and comfortable about humans, but humans shouldn't enter. Uh, here we can see the fence should be taller than the pigs, since the males grow to 90 centimeters at the shoulder, and the females at 70 uh, centimeters at the shoulder. That would be a bit above three meters and a little. Uh, a little under three feet and a little over two feet. Um, then for about fourteen years, and the male grows to ninety pound, uh, ninety kilos. The female seventy kilos. That would be a hundred and eighty pound, a hundred and forty pound. Uh, they reach sexual maturity at age three, and they can reproduce until they die. They get two to four offspring every year and they are pregnant for four months. They should be very easy to get to reproduce in captivity. And they do have interspecies enrichment with the Bornean orangutan and proboscis monkey. Enrichment while this we have here the mouth mud bath, the wind chimes, uh, rubbing pillar, rubbing threes. Um, both uh, cardboard boxes, uh, herbs and marker and sprinkler. And then over here we have the uh, foliage box, the fruit spike tree and the small barrel feeder. It's the exactly same as the common warthog. So let's have a look. That's babies going down there. Can we move one of you out into the sun? So we can see you. That would be amazing. Thank you. And then stay. No, stay, stay. Clearly didn't hear what I said. I don't think I can. Then we're just gonna move you again. there and now we just have to live with this it is a very furry pig uh, it have a lot of hair all over the body compared with other kinds of pigs but it do especially have this <laughs> funny beard in the front here 
which looks very funny and very nice at the same time. It has very, very light eyes. There. You can see. And the mouth actually looks very good. The ears are very cute. And then we have this small little tail here. Um, it is lifted a bit, which I don't, don't understand. But again, I don't know every single subspecies of pig, so this might be right. And then down here we have the two... I can't remember what's called. Uh, and then the two here in the back. Um, which I like. Texture wise it is very good. We can see a lot of individual strands of hair. And up here it do get a little funky up here but that's the issue we normally have in the game around f fluff where it just doesn't work right but it does seems like uh, it was made very well. So let's just see her walk a bit oh and you can see the dirty dirty teeth in there that was a little glitch it works very well uh, what about the male? As I remember, there was a difference. Just taking him out here to see if there is. Yeah, I think the coloration is different. You can see here, he's very blue and green and red. Uh, which I don't know if it's wrong or if it's right I, I really don't know but the coloration on him is very different than the rest of them um but i think movement wise he works fine so i would actually like to know at some point if this is uh if he really have this color it is also possible that it's a coloration both for males and females and i just I uh, coincidentally got this color on my mail, but we got a little baby here. Mm -hmm. If we stop you there and then remove some of the tall grass so we can see what you're doing. There. Um, you are 0 0.1 years old, so it's a little baby and a lot of pigs and warthogs have striped babies and they also have that here it's very cute and this is very baby like um i really like this this baby is very good oh there's something here you can see that comes a line there sometimes <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so, some glitches or some mistakes on mods I find more funny than a, like a problem. Uh, and again, when you just play your game from out here, you would <laughs> never notice. So it's just, yeah, it's kind of like when you play an old Pokemon game and it, and it have some kind of bug that you really like because it's part of the history. Um, even though originally it was so frustrating when you played the game, but when you got older and time changed, uh, then you look back up in it, then it's just kind of a funny little thing. And I kind of feel like this is a funny little thing. It looks very good. I like the coloration on it. I like the snout. I like the eyes. They look a little uh, sleepy. Uh, and these small hairs up here, that's very, very cute. So let's see you move. Oh, your small ears. What was that? <laughs> mm. I like the shoulder animation here. That works very well. And of course you need to go in here. Um, But it's... 
Yeah, it's it's very good. Uh, and both, as I said, both the babies and adults swim here. You can see the baby swimming. And it swims in the right height and the same did the adult. Uh, I think they do appear to be a tiny bit bigger than the warthog. I think. Can you just stay here? No, don't go, don't go there. Okay, so they don't, they aren't bigger than the warthog, but they do seem a bit thicker than the warthog. Uh, maybe a bit taller, but not much. So, yeah. Uh, that's all I got for you today, guys. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. I'll find the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys!